What's up YouTube? Welcome back here to the channel. If y'all are new here, I'm Thomas Buzzer, that H2, and that is a train track. Hands off. There we go. We are currently on the way to Columbus to go get the exhaust redone on the truck. I just left the farm during my hunting trip because from the farm, Gabe shop, Fat Boys is about 20 minutes. From home where I live, it's about an hour and a half to two hours. So for me, it makes sense to leave during the hunting trip, take out a couple hours of my day and go get this knocked out. So we're gonna be doing a few different things to the truck. We're gonna have Gabe put in a Flowmaster 40 series muffler. If y'all don't know it, if you're new to the channel, the current exhaust setup is long tubes, catless, trudels, dual X pipes with 18 by four inch tips. After we leave the shop, the tips will be the same, but they're gonna be, we have new tips and he's gonna reroute the tailpipe. So we're gonna run them a little bit differently. And then instead of dual X pipes, it's gonna be single X pipe with a single Flowmaster muffler. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna stop rambling on, let's get to the shop. So as I told y'all, we just left the farm. I pressure washed the truck yesterday and this morning and it's still just a freaking mess. I was more concerned about getting all the mud underneath. I don't want him to have to deal with all that, but this is the Flowmaster right here. 40 series, like I said, it is a dual inlet and dual outlet. I'm not running two separate mufflers. So if that takes away from the true duals, then you know, so be it. And the new tips, 18 by four inch chrome. The current setup, what I wanted to show y'all comes out the corners. I really want to do the new tips kind of angled like this, probably tucked up a little bit more, but both of them side by side. So one here and one here. I think it'll be a much cleaner look. I don't know, almost like a Raptor feel. I don't know, it's just something different. Just had to, why not change it up a little bit? But y'all can peep the Gen Y right there. It's freaking covered in mud. I need to start taking that off when I'm at the farm because it this hook that hangs down likes to drag on stuff and it just gets absolutely disgusting. But in here y'all can see the long tubes, no cats, all that fun stuff. And then up here we have the first X pipe. And then back over there we have the second X pipe. So it'll be a little bit different, a lot quieter. the truck sounds like an idle sounds really good in my opinion i'm gonna have to take a piece of pipe and bend this tip down just a little bit not a huge deal it's just a little close to the bumper but i just want to show y'all his type of work again shout out to fat boys just beautiful well all down just really flawless but i'm back at the farm i'm about to get on the road i'm just here to pick up some electric steps for my truck but well, we're headed to Noonan. We'll get some exhaust clips there. And we're gonna do a little bit of work on Thomas's truck. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. I think we made it. The old rig. What do you think? I like it. You're a fan? Yeah, big fan. It's definitely different. It is. It sounds so much better. It does. I'm gonna have to get some exhaust clips for the video, but. Yeah. My hitch shiner and a bunch of truck parts is supposed to be at the house today. Yeah. Bolt locks and I don't even remember what else I ordered. But. Yeah. Where's the bed rack at? I almost forgot. So the second gen always has a crack dash. Always. But, a bunch of crap in the seat. But not this one. Look how crispy that is. It's brand new. Flawless, buddy. Yeah, we gotta do the vinyl and stuff but yeah that looks good so here's the rack this turned out freaking sweet thomas built this entire thing from scratch i'm impressed yeah. that's gonna look good gotta show what's your brother's name carter carter this is his brother's third gym that they're working on i like that it's a little the smaller headlights too there's a lot going on. Yeah, that's my cousin's truck. It's the, for sale. The Ford? Yeah. 
How much? Twelve grand. Dutton run. Is this the one you were telling me about? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Somebody give him give him an offer. What year is it? Seventy nine. Seventy nine. Four wheel drive, four sixty big block, automatic. That's pretty sweet though. Does not run. Twelve grand or best offer. Hey, whoever buys it, just L LS swap it. Yeah. Or 12 ounce swap it. One of the two. Per my cousin, this truck's worth 12 grand, but <laughs> His brother has some, you said, four gen stocks? So what are they, 35s? Uh, I think they measure, yeah, measure up to be right about a four. Roughly. Some Toyo ATs. Yeah. That's it. I'm excited to see this truck now. It's supposed to get paint, painted in the next couple of weeks. I was driving my aunt's third gen around the farm. They ride real good. Yeah. They paint booth right there. The big box. I realize like a big blow up thing. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. So we're about to run to the store to go grab some more primer. We're taking the old Fortune work truck. Pretty sweet. It's got the ranch hand on it. Look. He told me that this and this truck are twins and they're one VIN number apart. But they're the exact same truck, which is pretty sweet. Kind of like this old Ford. But we're going to grab some primer, finish that up. I'll probably fly the drone around here a little bit, but I'll see y'all when the next big thing happens. Thomas's dad has a really cool shop. I'm not going to lie. I love the space. I love what's going on in here. Thomas just told me a little bit about this tractor because I'm not really a tractor guy. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's a 76 John Deere 4230. Gotcha. And his dad bought it to flip it. Apparently got a great deal on it. Dude, if I had a tractor, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I feel like I just... You know, have fun with it right around. It's got the big old penetrator on the front of it. It's it's for hay bales. I do know that. I do know that. See, I know a little bit. I know kind of what I'm talking about. I say we need to try to put these tires on the truck. They're literally the height of my head. I'm not a big guy, though. So, Thomas and everybody out here is like freaking six foot, six five. You're what, six four? Five. You're, you are six five? Yeah. Crazy, crazy. I do like the third gen though. I'll have to film like stages of it. I think that'd be kind of cool. Oh yeah, this is uh, stage one. Stage one, so he's doing body work, prepping it for paint. I showed y'all the fourth gen stocks and 35s over there. What's done under the hood, anything? Uh, it's pretty much stock. It's got a four inch exhaust all the way back uh, <laughs> took the silencer ring out of the turbo and it's got a fast lift pump this thing's buggy though as it is 425,000 miles keeps on chugging y'all are dodge family he was just telling me that this where behind your dad has what three four. four of them you drive a dodge your brother has a dodge they're all coming too that's pretty sick all we need is a first gen. Right now he's working on the lights. The rack is fully painted. They're primered. We're going to drill the holes, line them all up, then we can paint them. We need longer bolts for all the lights. But I'm excited to see it on the truck.
so Tom has moved his truck around so we could test fit the rack that he built before we drilled all the holes and all that fun stuff. And the throttle linkage cable, the boot on the end cracked and fell off. Well, it looks like it's one piece now, but it's really two pieces and it's pretty tight on there. Yeah. But we're thinking we need some sort of like JB weld or some sort of glue because without this piece, there's no throttle in the truck. The throttle, like you move it and it's literally just flimsy just like that. So we're thinking JB Weld and a zip tie. <laughs> no, we need to put something else besides just duct tape. Oh, I'm going to duct tape it, zip tie it, JB Weld it, you name we're it. We're going to redneck it. engineer it is what we're going to do. Maybe squirt some WD-40 on it. And call it a day. Yeah. We started school back today. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I think this bed rack turned out killer, freaking killer. I love the lighting on it. Hope y'all enjoyed some of those drone shots. Still getting used to it, just playing around with it, having fun. But I'm gonna turn the camera around real quick, show y'all the current exhaust setup, and that's gonna do it for this video. So y'all know, like I said before, I have the long tube headers in the truck. I'm gonna crawl underneath on my back here. So. I'm catless, as y'all can see. It runs into a single X pipe, then it stools into a Flowmaster 40 series, and then it stools out of the Flowmaster to the current tips, which I kind of like them coming out one side. Definitely changed it up, like I said earlier in the video. But gotta show love to my boy at Fat Boys. Absolutely freaking killed it. Wells look phenomenal. That's how the truck is. That's how it should have sounded from the get-go. Yeah. But when I did the long tubes and went catless, I didn't have a muffler. And I was happy with it before. But I think that's going to do that for a little while at least. Yeah. Until I do cutouts, which I'm probably Sound not going like to ever do. Beep's truck. Beep's truck? Yeah. Bleep it out. Oh, I can't. I, now I gotta bleep the name. I can't. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. It, it sounded like trash. It sounded like a uh, true duel straight. 
it sounded like a Carolina truck, but Thomas's Instagram is linked down below. My Instagram is linked down below. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.